Good morning, everyone. Today we have our Alpha 40 deck tech video. We've talked a lot about Alpha 40 on the channel before, and we've done a couple deck techs on revised 40 decks that use revised cards. But the Alpha 40 League has been around on Facebook for about a year or two, and they came up with all the rule sets that we've seen before and discussed. So we're gonna take a look at the rules and a 40 card deck and have a little discussion um, about the deck. This was the deck that I used in the last month's league play. It did not do so well, so I'm probably gonna have to make some changes. Um, it did not hold up very well against creature decks, creature heavy decks. So I think in the meta game, you need a way to prevent against, um, against creatures. So, uh, first thing you need is a good mana base. So I play mainly blue in Alpha 40. So we're gonna start with uh, our islands. We have basic islands. I think there are 10 copies of the basic light blue island by Mark Poole. Let's put those up here. that one more all right so that's 10 basic islands that is going to be 25 percent of the deck but i typically use 16 lands which is going to be like 40 percent um so the other lands i'm using are blue black which is underground sea do, do, do. Here we go. So Underground Sea, this one is um, in HP condition, but it still taps for black or blue mana. Then we have a Tundra, which is blue-white right there. I triple sleeve these cards in the deck. There's a Tundra, Underground Sea, Tundra. And Tropical Island is the other blue dual land that we use. We saw that, there it is. Um, Alpha Tropical Island, there's a misprint. Uh, they credited Mark Poole as the artist and it was actually Jesper Mirfors. So those are our blue duels in the deck. And then we have the off color duels as well. So we are using um, white, black, we're using uh, Scrubland. We're using uh, Bayou, black and green. And finally, we're using Savannah, which is white and green mana. And then we use a lot of artifacts in this deck. Um, the most powerful artifact, I think, is Black Vice. So we're gonna use three copies of Black Vice in this deck and the basic premise behind this deck is uh, get Black Vice on the table and then cast Time Twister and make your opponent take damage for having seven cards in their hand. Other artifacts that we're going to use are Howling Mine for drawing spell, Soul Ring for fast mana, and um, a Chaos Orb for removal. So you can, um, if your opponent has a creature or something on the table, maybe they have a black vice and you need to get rid of it and you don't have a disenchant, you can just take your orb, flip it like that onto the table to get rid of their black vice. Uh, let's see here, let's stack these up. Dual lands, artifacts. Uh, other artifacts that we are gonna use in this deck are Icy Manipulator. These are pretty good because they tap your opponent's creatures. If, they're, if they have creatures, they also tap uh, artifacts that have trigger abilities. They also tap uh, enchantments, I think, that are in the way. Maybe not enchantments so much, but um, mostly artifacts. And they tap lands, that's what I meant. They tap lands that might have enchantments on them. So the, the last 
artifact we're gonna put in the deck is Crystal Rod, which is one of the charms. It gives you life anytime you, a, a player casts a blue spell. So, um, so we are going to put some blue spells in our deck since we have access to blue mana. Uh, the first spell that we're gonna use is Psychic Venom. So Psychic Venom is great because you can cast it on your opponent's lands. Whenever they tap the land, it does two damage to them. However, if you have Icy Manipulator, you can tap their lands and do two damage to them uh, just for having that land in play. So this, this is four copies of Psychic Venom. And then we also have some spells that can be problematic to them. Um, if they have cards in their hand and you have Black Vice on the table and they cast a creature, you can cast Unsummon, which will pick their creature back up into their hand so that they take damage for having cards in their hand. Um, you can also cast Power Sync, which is a interrupt, sort of like a counter spell. But if you have Psychic Venoms on their lands and they cast a spell and you counter it with Power Sync, you, make them, you force them to pay the untapped mana that they have available. Usually they have Psychic Venoms on those lands because they're trying not to tap those lands, but with Power Sync, you can tap it for them and they, make, they take damage. And you could also counter their spell in, in response to them casting a spell. Uh, we're gonna use a copy artifact, which is a rare card. Um, that could copy pretty much any target. Uh, you could copy a Black Vice, so you could have you know, two, three, or four copies of Black Vice on the table. It could copy a Soul Ring, so that you could generate four colorless mana per turn. It could also copy an, uh, an Icy Manipulator for one colorless and one blue, and then you get another Icy on the board for a discount. Uh, we have Mana Short which will essentially function like a time walk. It'll tap all their mana, empty their pool on their turn, and then all they can do is attack or um, maybe use Soul Ring if they want to cast something, but they won't have any lands. <clears throat> and if you had Psychic Venom on those lands, they would take damage from the mana short. Uh, and then Time Twister is the power card that goes really well with the Black Vice. So uh, ideally, it, with at least one Black Vice on the board, you want to be able to cast Time Twister. You will set this aside in a new graveyard. You'll shuffle your hand, your library, and your graveyard all together. Um, Twister will be in its own graveyard. And then your opponent does the same, and then you both draw seven new cards. And then you pass the turn to them, and they'll have seven cards, and they'll be looking at uh, a black vice or two maybe and we'll take take damage on their upkeep if they can't disenchant or remove the black vice or tap it down with an icy of some kind so so time twister is kind of the key combo with uh black vice in the deck and then we have some off color cards we have dark ritual for fast mana which we can tap with underground sea or scrubland or bayou that'll give you three black mana uh, that'll also you know Theoretically, on your first turn, you could play Underground Sea, Dark Ritual, and cast three Black Vices, and then pass the turn, and then they would take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage, and then it would, the score would be 20 to 11 on the first turn. Uh, the other thing I am using is a Demonic Tutor, which lets you search your deck for any one card. Typically, uh, the goal is to search for Time Twister, and then cast Time Twister so that your opponent takes damage from Black Vice. And then if Twister is in your graveyard, uh, you, can, you can play Regrowth with either the Tropical Island, the Bayou, or the Savannah. And this gets your Time Twister back into your hand. And then the last, thing, the last card in the deck is a Disenchant, which will take out their Black Vice or take out their Psychic Venom if they're playing either of those cards against you. Um, Disenchant is also good against a card like Karma. Karma will do uh, one damage to you for every swamp in your uh, that you own. So Underground Sea, Scrubland, and Bayou also count as swamps, so you, those will do 
damage to you if they're playing Karma, and you need a way to get rid of Karma, so you'll need either Disenchant or a Chaos Orb. So a quick, quick view of the rules, as we've looked at several times before, you're allowed one fast mana card from this group. Uh, we don't have any of the Moxes or Black Lotus or Mana Vault, so Soul Ring is our, our fast mana card that we prefer. Then in the power group, um, we don't have Time Walk or Fast Bond or Wheel of Fortune or Time, Wa Time Vault or Ancestral Recall. So Time Twister works, that checks that box. Um, then there's the draw group. Um, you're allowed to play one copy of either um, Brain Geyser, Howling Mine, JM Day Tome, any of those three cards. So it's always a tough choice between Howling Mine um, or Brain Geyser in this deck. Um, Howling Mine, looks, it works pretty good because your opponent doesn't always counter the artifact. They like to draw cards, so if you get the Howling Mine out before the Black Vice, then sometimes they're surprised by you know having six or seven cards and then having to deal with Black Vice. So Brain Geyser is... Um, also good, but you would only be able to play this or the Howling Mine and have to decide. So I've tried both. Uh, I'm, I'm undecided which is better. They both have their advantages and they both have their drawbacks. Brain Geyser costs two blue plus a X number of spells of mana to cast it. So typically what you can do maybe late game is once you get a couple Black Vices on the board, you can cast Brain Geyser for eight or nine targeting your opponent. And then maybe then they'll have like 14, 15 cards in their hand, and then when you pass the turn, they're taking one damage for each card above four, uh, which could be nine nine damage per black fight. So that could be game over. The alpha brain geyser has a little red dot next to the, the draw word in the text box. So if you're um, looking for brain geysers, make sure they have the red dot. And then JM Day Tome is good too, but I also think Low casting cost, mana curve decks are faster and better in Alpha 40. And so casting cost of four for the JM Day Tome is a little high. And opponents, it's a, it's, an, it's a good target for your opponent's disenchant. Then you have the destruct, Destruction Group. You can play Armageddon, Balance, Chaos Orb, or Nev Neural's desk. Um, we only have a Chaos Orb and a Balance. So our choices are usually between those two cards. Um, balance is great if they're playing a lot of creatures and they have like a creature heavy deck then you could use this almost as a board wipe you could play it and then it equalizes the number of lands in play it equalizes the number of creatures in play so this deck has no creatures and then your opponent would discard all their creatures uh, but it also equalizes cards in hand so if you're down to two or three cards they would discard and be under the black vice so balance is good against creature decks, but if you're playing an opponent that's also playing a creature list deck, this can have drawbacks as well. Then the charms group, we are using the blue crystal rod. That is a good way to gain some life. Um, lately, I've been using it when they cast a blue spell. Um, I'll use it to gain a bunch of life when they cast something, if they're playing blue. Um, we could also play ivory cup or Throne of Bone in this deck because we are playing white and black, uh, but we only have one and two copies of those colors. Um, and so you'd have to like have an opponent maybe on white or black to be able to really use these cards, but they're, they're good. They're kind of like a lightning rod because if you have a lot of artifacts and your opponent is playing disenchant, they have to decide which artifacts they want to disenchant. So, you know, are you gonna just gain a bunch of life from the crystal rod and they're not going to be able to catch you, so they might have to get rid of that. Do they have a lot of cards? Um, do they want to get rid of your Black Vice? That is kind of the question they're going to have to solve in the game. They're, we're not using any of the banned cards. Uh, we are using several restricted cards that are limited to one copy. Um, I always find the restricted cards are really good. The moderated cards are really good, so I always try to get as many of these in, in every Alpha 40 deck that I can. We are using one copy of Copy Artifact, which is really good for copying your artifacts or copying their artifacts. We have one Demonic Tutor, which is really good for finding your 
Time Twister. We have one copy of Mana Short, which is really good. I said it's, it's kind of like a time walk, so I, I recommend that. Um, Volcanic Eruption is another card that we've used before. It costs three blue plus X to spell, to cast. Um, the wording on it is a little different in alpha. It destroys your um, opponent's mountains if they have X mountains of your choice and it does X damage to each player and creature. So it was fixed in the kind of um, later sets, but for alpha rules, if you pay three blue and X colorless, you can destroy X mountains and do damage. But if they don't have mountains in play, it still functions and still does damage to them. And then later it was fixed to say that, it, you know, you have to do, you target the mountains and then it does that much damage to how many mountains you destroy. So you could cast this for seven if they only had one mountain. In theory, the updated version would only destroy one mountain and do one damage. But in alpha, you can cast this for seven, target your opponent. Um, they may not have any mountains, but they would take seven damage. You would also take seven damage too. So there's a slight drawback because it targets yourself as well. So if you're low on life, you may not want to cast Volcanic Eruption to win the game. And finally, the dual lands are all restricted to one copy. There's nine dual lands in alpha. There was no Volcanic Island until beta. So we're going to use six of the nine dual lands in this deck uh, and not need any of the red dual lands. Stay away from the red cards. Um, the moderated list is li restricted to three copies. Um, we're not playing Berserk. We are going with three copies of Black Vice. Um, no Copper, Tablet, Counterspell, Hurricane, or Hypnotic Specter, Ice Storm. We are using two copies of Icy Manipulator. Um, I have experimented with three copies, but I think two is pretty good because um, you can get stuck with two or three Icy's in your opening hand and then just never be able to cast them because you can't get enough land to get through those. Juggernaut is also listed to three. It's a great creature. Um, consider putting him in the deck. Uh, Lightning Bolt is a great common, considering putting that in does some direct damage. But then I'd have to maybe swap out some of these islands for red dual lands. And without the Volcanic Eruption, red is at a slight, or not Volcanic without the Volcanic Island, red is at a slight disadvantage because you're short one dual land that you can, can play red. Um, Orcish Oriflam is restricted because in alpha it only costs one colorless and one red to cast. So that's why it's restricted in alpha that you play the cards as they're written. Uh, Psionic Blast is also good. It does four damage to your opponent and two damage to you. Um, so that's the drawback is it does do damage to you. And this deck functions uh, if you can use some of your life points to, to, to stall against creatures that are attacking you until you get Time Twister out on the board, then you can kind of neutralize what's happening. And we're not using Stone Rain or Sinkhole. And Swords of Plowshares is the last moderated card that um, we're not using, but it is good if your opponent is playing creatures because then you could remove their creature and they gain the life, but at least deals with the creature and they get it out of the game. Um, commonly, I would target Jade's statue, which is a great uh, artifact in alpha. When they activate it, make it a creature, then you would respond by casting Swords of Plowshare to get rid of their Jade statue. Um, if they don't have any creatures, then this becomes a drawback and a card in your hand, and then you end up taking Black Vice damage. And then finally, um, wait, let's see the other cards. Yeah, finally, some some good cards that work in this deck that we've tried before that uh, were not in this build is maybe an extra copy of Disenchant. You know, if, if they are playing a lot of Black Vices, we would Disenchant their Black Vice or their Psychic Venom. I do see these two cards being played more frequently in Alpha 40. And finally is Twiddle, is a blue card that you may tap any one land, creature, or artifact in play. So it doesn't remove their creatures, but it slows them down before they attack. Um, it also slows, taps their Black Vice if you're trying to avoid Black Vice damage. And it can also tap their island 
if you have psychic venoms on their land their basic lands if they're not playing island they could be playing mountain or forest but you could have a psychic venom on their land you could twiddle it and that would take it uh to do damage to them it would tap it and they would do damage so that's basically the the 40 card deck um i kind of call it um blue vice it's slightly modeled after a, an original alpha 40 deck that had no restrictions there was a tournament in uh, sweden i think where you could play all 40 alpha cards um any number of copies of the cards that you wanted to and there was a deck that used i think one copy of black vice and a bunch of copies of ancestral recall and time twister and the goal is to get time twister keep drawing cards to get a black vice down and then and then make your opponent draw three cards from ancestral recall and then when you pass the turn they've got like 20 cards in their hand and they take 20 damage uh, from the black vices so this is kind of the blue vice um, maybe that's the picture we want blue vice alpha 40 deck let's do um, yeah let's do get our thumbnail for the video and then I'm we will probably make some changes to this deck for the next league monthly league um, and let you know how that goes um, I'm thinking let's try this one as well um, it's been a fun deck uh, with with basically blue as being kind of the main color um, there are some some ways to make it more of a control deck and put more counter spells in, but then you'd have to take out some of the other colors. So maybe we would get away from the off colors, to get rid of the black, green, and white spells in the deck. But uh, these are just some of my favorite spells to cast in Magic the Gathering. So it's kind of fun when you can shuffle up and just play an alpha Black Vias or play an alpha Demonic Tutor to get your Time Twister. Um, even if you don't win the match, it's kind of a really interactive format and it's very casual and the opponents have been really great in the league. So I will put, um, I'll put the link to the Facebook group in this, in this description of this video below so that you can check out Alpha 40 if you have Alpha cards and want to play. Um, if you're interested again, like I encourage people to make Alpha 40 um, decks out of revised cards and just give it a feel, give it a try and see how, how the, the gameplay works. Um, and if you like it, then you can, you know, make it a goal to pick up a couple alpha, alpha cards and then enough eventually to make a deck. That's how a lot of the players in the league get into the activity. So that's my video for the day. Uh, it's my first alpha 40 video on the, the blue vice build. Um, We'll tweak it a little bit and then report back maybe next month and let you know what we changed and let you know how we did. And if you're interested in um, maybe catching uh, a match or two of this format, give this video a subscription to the channel. Um, give the video a thumbs up or a comment below if you liked any of these alpha cards. And um, we'll continue to make more content with alpha 40 cards and Alpha 40 decks and do some deck tech review. Uh, if you have any questions on how the deck functions or some of the card interactions or rulings in Alpha, you can ask those questions too in the comments and we'll respond and let you know uh, what we find out. So appreciate everyone. Thanks again for watching today and, uh, and enjoy your games of magic and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.